Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Sunny, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I use Cloud Asset Inventory to gain visibility into my Google Cloud environment? Cloud provides a number of benefits, including scalability, high performance, and flexibility, but the rapid growth that often follows can make it more difficult for DevOps and security admins to know what exists within their organization, projects, and folders at any given time. And that's exactly where Cloud Asset Inventory can help. Now let's dive into a quick demo of Asset Inventory. For the purpose of this demo, let's pretend that I'm a GCP admin and I need to identify all of the compute instances that were created after January 1st in a couple of specific zones. I could do this using the Cloud Asset API, but today I'm going to use the Asset Inventory UI. I'm already on the Asset Inventory page, which can be found by navigating to IAM and Admin within the GCP Admin Console. On the Asset Inventory Overview page, I can see a high-level view of my entire organization, including a heat map of zones where my assets are located. I could click on a zone to view all of the assets within that zone, but I need to look at two, so instead I'm going to click the Resource tab and begin my search there. I only want to see Compute Instances, so I'll start by scoping my search to just those by selecting Compute Instances from the Asset Type list. You'll notice it's not displayed here, and that's because this, or this list is ordered highest to lowest by quantity. So I'm going to click View More and select Compute Instances from that list instead. Now, I could manually select the attributes I'm looking for from the panel on the left, but instead I'm going to use the search functionality. I'll begin by searching for the locations that I want to see, uh, US Central 1A and US East 1B. One thing to note is that Asset Search supports both AND and OR operators. AND is assumed unless you enter the OR operator, which I want because I want to see assets in either zone, so I'm going to select OR. So once I have those locations applied, then I'll filter on Create Time. In this case, I want to see everything that was created after January 1st of this year. Let's get that entered, and okay. So it looks like I have quite a few that fit the bill. Um, if I wanted to, I could download a CSV of the results for further analysis, um, but we're just gonna scrub through and look at some of the asset metadata associated with one of these resources. Okay, so looking at the summary tab, we can see a lot of information about the resource. Uh, including its creation date, the project it's contained in, and its parent asset type and name. Below that, there's some information about the instance, including its internal IP, machine type, and zone. And if VM Manager were enabled, I could also see additional machine metadata, including the OS version of the VM and versions of any installed packages. Moving on to the Change History tab, I can review when and what changes have been made to this resource within the last five weeks. Looking at the timeline, I can see that a few changes have occurred since the resource was created. So let's have a look at what happened. I'm going to select the latest record and the record from when the resource was created. It looks like the CPU information was populated after the instance came online. I also see that the fingerprint and IP changed and that the machine status switched from provisioning to running. These changes look pretty innocuous, but if I wanted to monitor this resource, I could create a PubSub notification that would alert me to changes to the resource or a set of resources. On the full metadata tab, I can see all the metadata captured for this resource. There's a lot of information here, including fingerprints, configured network interfaces, service accounts, and other configuration data like the Debian license attached to the instance. If I wanted to find something specific, like the asset type, I could use the search functionality at the top to narrow my scope. And lastly, on the IAM Policies tab, if there were policies that were scoped for this resource, I would be able to view them here. This concludes the Security Showcase demonstration on Cloud Asset Inventory. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com slash security for more content from Google Cloud experts.